All right. Hello and welcome. My name is Kayla. We are just about to go ahead and get started with Take 10 with Twello. I want to thank each and every one of you. The room is absolutely just filling up here uh, for spending this time with us. We're only going to be here for 10 minutes, just like we said. So I promise I won't take you past 10 minutes. Uh, and the whole purpose of these sessions, we'll be doing them monthly. They're nice kind of like times for us just to pop in and um, take 10 minutes for ourselves. I know it seems like, oh, there's so many 10 minute slots throughout the day, but it's really hard for us to find this time. Um, and even sometimes weekly might feel like a lot. So we'll start these sessions monthly. Our goal is to keep adding more and more. We'll be with you every third Wednesday um, of the month. And I know I can see a lot of familiar faces in the room. We have people who are part of larger organizations that we work with, some um, kind of solopreneurs that we might have, some people who are retired, some moms and dads. I see a lot of uh, familiar names in the room. So these sessions are for you. Um, I'll tell you just a tiny bit about myself if you haven't, uh, if we haven't had the chance to meet yet. This is some of my training in this space, but uh, if you know me and if we've had a chance to meet, I always say this is kind of like my mindfulness resume, but this wasn't what first got me started with mindfulness. Mindfulness was a tool that I used when I was really struggling with my own mental health. And if you've struggled with your own mental health before, you know that unfortunately it's not this kind of one and done battle. Sometimes it's something that we um, work with and it's a lifelong kind of toolkit that we can bring along with us and so even for myself around this time of year as it starts to get a little bit colder um, we're based here in right about the middle of Canada so it's very cold uh, here in the prairies and the days get shorter and we start to sometimes lose track of our wellness practices and so that's our goal today this time of year too, as we're coming up on, um, you know, the summer's winding down and we've got school and we've got midterms and exams and work pressures and holiday stressors. It's a nice time for us just to take a few moments. Um, this is the type of work that we care about so much. We work with teams all over the globe um, doing mindfulness practices, just like this one that we'll share today. And I have a quote I'd like to share with you today, especially on the topic of kind of decluttering your mind or just setting aside some time for yourself to declutter. And the quote goes, you should sit in meditation for 10 minutes a day. Unless you're too busy, then you should sit for an hour. And it really refers to kind of this paradox that sometimes the people who are the busiest and who could use these practices the most the people that really struggle to find that time. So I want you to give yourself a little pat on the back for carving out this time for yourself. Uh, that's often the hardest part. It's in your calendar, but you've got tons of other things in your calendar. So you've made it here. You've done the hardest part. And from now here on out, you just get to sit back and relax. So our meditation today, um, I encourage you to find a comfortable seat. I'm just going to stop sharing my screen for one moment here. We'll have an opportunity. This meditation will be in for about five minutes. And the meditation that we're working with today, it's a goal of kind of decluttering the mind a little bit. And when we think of what clutters the mind, we're usually as humans, we spend a lot of time in either the future or the past. If it's the future, we're worrying about what might happen, all the different variations of what might happen. Or if it's in the past, we're ruminating over things that have happened already. And so today we're gonna try to find ourselves in the present moment. To do so, find that comfortable seat. You can really sit back in your chair if that feels good to you. Uh, reaching the soles of the feet to the floor. You can close down the eyes if that feels comfortable. If closing down your eyes feels like a lot today, no problem. You can just look to the left or to the right of your computer. Just taking a soft gaze, getting a little less time on that screen. And as we begin this meditation, we begin by noticing the breath. without looking to change it, just noticing it as it is. It doesn't need to be deeper, more shallow, longer, shorter. We're simply observing the breath, your own perfect natural rhythm. A reminder for ourselves, perhaps for the first time today that we are in fact still breathing, no matter how hectic the day has been so far no matter what's on our to-do list for later. As you've noticed the breath and began to center around the breath, 
I invite you to call to mind an empty room. So we'll be using a visualization today. It's called the bank vault meditation. So you'll be imagining yourself wherever that may be in an empty room, whatever pops into your head. It can be large, it can be small. Imagining yourself in first person in this room. And the room is empty, the room is quiet, the room feels peaceful. But as you glance to the left and as you glance to the right, you see a big bank vault door on either side. Both of the doors are open and there's a lot going on. If we think of this as kind of a metaphor for our mind, on both sides of the room, it's absolute chaos. It's cluttered, it's overwhelming, it's stressful. You can imagine yourself now walking over to the left towards that big bank vault door, just like you imagine in the movies. However you visualize that, the door goes from the top of the ceiling all the way down to the floor. And as you peek your head in, what you notice on the left is all the events that have happened in the past, things that we can no longer go back and change, things that happened in the way we remember them, Perhaps the things where we ruminate, why did I say that thing to my boss three years ago? Why was I, why did it, it was so embarrassing when I did my presentation that way? Maybe if I had done something differently and that space, that feeling holds a lot of space in our mind. It's loud in there. And it's primarily negative. It tends to bring us down. It tends to deflate us. And so my challenge for you today is to close that bank vault door. You can imagine large door, you're pushing all your weight up against it just to find it locking. And depending on what your bank vault door looks like, it might have a one of the kind of wheels on it. It's got latches, it's clicking closed, it's locking closed, there's a deadbolt. And suddenly we notice absolute quiet and peace to the left. I'll imagine now walking from the left all the way to the right side of the room. The right side of the room is chaotic in its own way because everything behind that bank vault door, things that could happen in the future, each and every variation we might worry about, it's loud, it's messy. And I invite you again, using all your weight to close that bank vault door until it locks completely shut. All the different things we can worry about, infinite really, all, all the different variations in the future. And as we close that door, we feel a sense of overwhelming ease. We found ourselves completely and entirely in the present moment. We're no longer worried about things in the future, ruminating over the past. We find the present moment as a pretty nice place to be most of the time. As you feel this weight come off of your shoulders, this sense of softening, I invite you to spend about our last 30 seconds here, just enjoying the silence, enjoying the quiet, enjoying the beauty of the present moment. As you're ready, you can take two more deep breaths here. Just closing in, locking up this meditation. And as you're ready, you can blink your eyes back open into the room if they were closed, welcome back. 